Okay. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're back with Let's Play Shogo. I might sound a little different today, I'm not sure. I'm using a new mic. Let's see, what was I doing last time? Oh, that's right. Now the Fallen aren't my friend anymore. makes me happy. I'm also uh, using a new mouse, so that'll go a little smoother. What am I supposed to be doing? No, that's not it. Crap, the Madison Tunnel, where was that? Be there. This sounds like a really bad idea. Yeah, it's not quite that easy when I'm on foot. See you. zombie robots coming after me. I think he enjoyed that very much. That's just my personal theory. Your tax dollars at work, ladies and gentlemen. Giving maniacs giant robots. Yes. Whatever year 
vagina robots are invented. Let's just see one of those stands they're talking about. Great. I think that went pretty well. Semi-automatic mode. What a tool. Oh. That didn't work at all. Alright, looks like I do have to do the jump. What am I missing? Where am I supposed to be going? Here we go. I did the double jump when I land there. <clears throat> oh crap. Yeah, this looks safe. Kids, and that's why you don't leave uh, millions of dollars of expensive equipment lying around with a dead guy in it. That was a missile, wasn't it? There is the pilot's MP3 collection. Fantastic. It's a regular dude. He must be 
behind something. Do you hear that? I don't even know what to say about that. But it's like I keep saying, the scale on these things is really off sometimes. I mean, is that even legal, just using a little clip like that? Is there a certain number of seconds they can use before it becomes copyright infringement? this fortress. You're getting close. You'll know it when you see it. Thanks for the dip, cutscene. And what fortress is this? This is the first I've heard of a fortress, other than the fact that the name of the level is the Hidden Fortress. <laughs> I killed you. I think I don't get a chance to try out the uh, speedy robot. This is the end. Really wish I was doing this in the Predator or something uh, more substantial than this. Ah! Oops. Still, I guess I got him, so. I recognize those big stupid lights. That was a recolored uh, Predator. bullet in the world.
it only has two ammo. Weird looking gun. That's probably the biggest, biggest explosion I've seen in this game. Let's use it on one of those mans, even though the explosion of that range will surely kill you. I've determined that converting myself into pure energy is not the way to win this war. What happened?
Let's go to drive. I think I found it. Can you get inside? I can try. I think I found it. Can you get inside? I can try. That's all anyone asks, Sandro. <laughs> no! Oh good. You can't accidentally quick save after you die. 
You were the one in the red riot. You guys don't even seem to have a gun. We all have the red riot. Except you. That's it. See again, I don't think I killed anyone. I'm gonna try that again. Well, at least I removed that guy. two squadrons of Akari fighters. They're attacking the Leviathan. We can handle them. Just get to Gabriel. <laughs> no, those are Akari warriors. That was a game. Somewhere below Gabriel awaits. You can feel Cthineal's presence all around you, snaking beneath the surface of the planet for kilometers in every direction. Everything you've lost to Cronus is taken away from you by a creature desperate to preserve itself. However understandable its motives might be, one thing remains clear. To sure his life hangs in the balance. Ultimately, it is Ryo Ishikawa who must stand in search of the chaos and fall on if unleashed upon Cronus, but you will deal with him another time. The important thing now is to defeat Gabriel and free your brother from Cthineal's influence. But this is going on quite long enough, so I'm going to call it here, and we'll pick up in the next exciting episode of Let's Play Shogun. I'm burning Dogface, and I'll see you then.